Today we are talking about center part or middle part hairstyles. I have a few tips for you all because I see so many comments about people wanting to have this type of hairstyle, currently have it or they're having issues with it, can't figure out what's going on. So first of all, when it comes down to having a center part or middle part haircut, you need to have a few things. One, you have to make sure that you have the right style in mind, whether it's like an undercut like this. This is a full on undercut where all of this is shaved underneath and this all just lays over this way and it's a little bit longer the front, but it's a center part. Now, as you can see from this hairstyle right here, right? What's happening is all of this hair looks like it's just naturally falling that way. A lot of times when it comes to center part haircuts, I keep saying center part because that's what I'm used to saying, or middle part haircuts, most of the time it just happens to naturally fall right in this one spot. The second biggest thing is making sure your hair is heavy enough or thick enough and long enough so that it literally the hair will just fall on its own naturally. If the hair is too short, right, it may not have that flow yet, but don't give up because a lot of times people may just be in an awkward stage of growing the hair out. But if you have really, really perfectly straight hair or even wavy hair, you've got, you know, thicker hair or even finer hair, but you have a lot of it and the hair just falls very naturally. The hair has to be in really, really good condition. Very, very silky. It's going to do this very, very easily. It's just gonna look nice and smooth to the head. It's not gonna be all crazy and frizzy and a big mess. So you have to make sure you've got the right hair texture, the right hair density, and then think about what type of hairstyle do you want with this middle part haircut. So typically I do see haircuts like this or the Leonardo DiCaprio where it's, you know, there is all hair in through here. It just works up into the top where this is the longest point. You need to have the front here, which is what I call a triangular shape because it's longer in the front. So this is great for leaning out rounder faces uh, or a full type of face structure because it's all triangular and it's leaning and out, okay? It's an illusion of having it longer in through here and it helps cover up some of the cheekbone area, but you always, always, always have to have the front, the longest point. If you have a middle part haircut and it's short here and goes back this way, it's not gonna lay right. This will keep falling forward. It'll get all clumpy through here. It's not gonna have this nice flow to it. The more you have length in the front here, the easier it is for it to weigh it down this way and even to slick back as well, okay? It's, this will travel all the way back. The longer this is this way, the further back it will travel. So you're able to slick this all back without having to worry about the hair constantly falling in the face because it's too short. Don't ever, ever just take scissors and cut it straight across and say, oh, I have a, you know, a middle part haircut now, Be unless you want it that short. But keep in mind, the shorter you have it, you know, it's gonna be a, wholly, a totally different style. Then you may not want an undercut, you want more of a blended haircut. You can have an amazing middle or center part haircut with having a lot of hair through here, but this all is layered and flows back like this. So you can have a variety of hairstyles with having a middle part haircut. It just depends on finding the right one. I, again, like I mentioned, I tend to see nowadays a lot of the undercut disconnected type of stuff you know, where this is a bit longer towards the front this way. But I also have seen the classic kind of feather haircut, right? And this goes for, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, you can really just have any type of haircut and it's in the center part. I see a lot of short feathered layered haircuts that are just falling right here. A lot of it, again, it's because that's where the natural parting is. If you don't know where your natural parting is, just brush your hair all the way back, push forward like this and it's gonna split. You see it's split right there down the middle. That's where your natural parting is. Can you train the hair to go down the middle? Yes, just gotta keep doing it. Make sure the hair's long enough, make sure you have the right haircut. And also find a professional who can work with you and help you to achieve this type of look. So don't forget, use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20 at shop.thesalonga.com. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have this hairstyle and if you found this video helpful, I'll see you soon.